morning, afternoon, evening, whatever time of day that you happen to be watching this. Welcome to Learn to Mod. My name is Ben. I am this guy right here that you can see on your screen. We'll put me over in the corner right there. Hello. I'm going to be teaching you guys all kinds of cool things about modding Minecraft. Yay! So, let's go ahead and get started. Head to LearnToMod.com, then click Login, then go ahead and log in. Welcome to your homepage. There's lots of cool stuff here. We're going to make a mod, though. Let's do that. Go ahead and click on Play, and you'll see a bunch of drop-downs right here. Go ahead and click Mods. Welcome to your Mods page. This is the page where you'll see all the mods that you have made so far. If you don't see any, that's fine, because you just haven't made any yet. We're going to make one right now, though, so go ahead and look under the New Mod box right here. Go ahead and give your mod a name. I'm going to recommend calling it Hello World. That's kind of an inside joke with computer programmers. Your first mod is always named Hello World. Once you've typed that in, go ahead and click on Blockly Multiplayer. Perfect! Okay, and just like that, you'll see your new mod pop up right on the right-hand side of the screen there. Go ahead and click that to open it up. Bam! Look at this! This is your mod. It's beautiful, but there's nothing inside of it. We haven't coded it yet. Go ahead and click Code. There you go. Alright, and welcome to our mod editor. This is where all of the magic happens. Now, there's a couple important things that all mods need, but we're going to start with the most important thing. In fact, it's important enough, let's go ahead and put up enough the title card, why don't we? Bam! There we go. Look at it, it's beautiful. Let's put some text on there. This text says, um, functions. Yeah, that'll work. Yeah, functions. No, not, not, oh, just, just, just func, no, okay, that's enough. Okay, so, functions. Uh, let's imagine that this is you, and this is a computer, and you want the computer to perform a specific mod, okay? So, computers are kind of dumb. They don't really know what you're talking about most of the time. And so what we need to do is we need to communicate with them. One of the best ways to communicate with them is with a function. A function is basically just a big old folder that holds all of our code, like a big instruction book. You just say, hey computer, here is a instruction book, just do all the stuff that's in there. And the computer says, okay, you got it boss, and then it does everything and cool stuff happens. Okay? So that's what we're, what we're going to make right now. So uh, go ahead and click on your Functions tab and grab a function right here. Bam! Just like that. You can see it's a big old mouth right here. That's where we're going to put all our code. It's really important when we start our mod, we need to name the first function that we have, Name. The reason for this is because the computer will start every single mod that it ever does ever with the main function. If you don't have a main function, the computer doesn't know where to start in the mod, it gets confused and nothing happens, okay? So always make a main function. Very important. Here's the important seal of approval. Okay, so we're going to make a pretty simple mod now. We're going to make the computer send us a message. So we've got our main function right here, so let's go ahead and grab a message block. So right under the Minecraft tab, you'll find a bunch of other tabs. Go ahead under the Players tab and look for the block Send Message Blank to Blank. Let's grab that, stick it right in. Bam! We're getting code already. Now we need to fill up these little holes with something. Uh, let's go ahead and fill up the second hole first. That's who we're going to send the message to. We want to send the message to us, so go under the Players tab again and grab the block that says me, stick that right in the second hole, bam, just like that. And now we need to tell it what we want our message to say. So go ahead and look under the Text tab, grab one of these empty text blocks, stick that in there, and go ahead and fill it with Hello World. Now, when we run the mod, it will send Hello World to us. Yay! Okay, great. Let's go ahead and give it a try. If you want to test out this mod in Minecraft, you got to start up a server first. If you haven't started up a server yet, go ahead and watch our How to Start a Server video. And if you don't want to watch that, here is the 5 second version of it, okay? 3, 2, 1, go to the homepage, click play, click my server, click start, grab the IP address, go to Minecraft, direct connect, type it in, and we're in, just like that. Now, if you want to test your mod, let's go ahead and go back to our mod here. Go ahead and click the mod button. And then, inside of your Minecraft world, you should see in the bottom left-hand corner, the mod is loaded. Let's go ahead and open it up, go to your mod chest, click on it to open it up, there's your mod, stick it right down there, click on it to use it, and... Bam! There we go! Hello world! There is our message! Yay! So you all should be pretty proud of yourselves right now, because you have created your very first Minecraft mod ever! However, it doesn't do a whole lot at the moment, so let's go ahead and change that and add some more cool details into this mod. Right now, it just sends us a message. Let's create another function that will give us a weapon whenever we run this mod. So go ahead, let's add a new function. Let's go ahead and name this one, Give Weapon. 
just like that. Perfect. Now, important detail, you will notice that I always use underscores inside of my text here, just because sometimes computers get a little bit confused with spaces, so it's often good to separate words like that instead. Okay, awesome. Let's keep going. So to give us a weapon, go ahead and go under the Minecraft tab again, and now click item, and now get give item of type blank to player blank. Perfect. Stick it right to the give weapon function. Now, player, we want it to give it to us, so go ahead and go into players, click on me, click that. There we go, just like that. Last tab. Now we need to tell it what type of item we want it to send to us. We want a diamond sword, because diamonds are the best ones. So go under materials, and here's all the materials inside of Minecraft. Go ahead and look up diamond sword. It should be under diamond axe, blocks, boots, chest plate, helmet, hoe, leggings, or pickaxe sword. Bam! Stick that right there. Perfect. And now we need to tell it how many of them we want. Um, so go ahead and grab a math block. Uh, you'll see this little zero block right there. Stick that right there. We can change that to whatever we want. I'm going to just pick, uh, let's go five right now. You can never have too many diamond swords. Now the thing is, this mod won't quite work right now, because we start the main function, we send hello message, but then we don't tell the computer to do anything else. We've created this function so it knows how to give a weapon, but we haven't actually told it to give a weapon. To do that, we need to do a function call. Let's go ahead and click on functions, and you'll see, oh look at that, our fancy new give weapon function is right there. Grab that, stick that right there, perfect. Now, function main runs, sends message hello world to me, and then it says, okay, then run the give weapon function. And then it'll say, okay, give five diamond swords to me. Yay! Let's see what happens. Alright, we're back in Minecraft now. Let's go ahead and open up our mod chest. There's our mod. Bam, stick it right on down there. Let's use it. And bam, look at that. We have five diamond swords. Yay! Okay, now we can go and uh, fight all these slimes that are all around me. Woohoo! Anyways, that's about all I've got for today. Thank you all for watching. I encourage you to try this on your own. Hope you all have fun. Thanks for watching, and happy modding.